That's probably why, Sesame. I imagine. Yeah. So that that was a disaster. Wasn't a fan of the Israel box at all. I'm sorry, Israel. I actually really like those videos that BuzzFeed does where they have people from other countries eating our junk food. I'll admit yeah. to watching that. Yeah, they're pretty they're pretty funny. I'm like, how do you not like that? What's wrong with you? That's yeah. that's why those videos are so popular, I have to imagine. It, yeah. I, I'll i I'll give BuzzFeed credit on on one thing, as like awful as BuzzFeed is in many ways. They are very, very good at exploiting regional loyalties, like down oh, to yeah. individual towns. Totally. It's like thirty seven things that only people that live in this specific town in this specific country will know about. Like, you you guys are just this is and the same the article he posted like, two weeks ago. So true. With a different it's name. It's so true. It's, it's fucking true. I know. Like, they did one. I know. They did one on Western Mass last week. And I'm from Connecticut originally. So, but like in this very similar area, we're, we're just like a 40 minute drive from the location they were talking about. And I was like, I haven't thought about these things in 20 years. And now I, I got all nostalgic and I was about to share it on Facebook. And I'm like, wait. Wait a minute. This, this is, is exactly their plan what all they along. <laughs> You fall into that trap. The one that I put on Facebook, uh, I'm trying to remember what it was called. It was like, um, LA natives react to rain. And it was just the <laughs> most ridiculous. Like, it was obviously the ex an extreme, but it was so funny to me as a person from a state where it rains all the time. Like, people in LA flip the fuck out when it rains. Like, our, the streets here don't drain, so everybody is just, like, driving in tons of water, just like, uh, but even when it's sprinkling, people slow down so much. It's Nobody wants to go outside. Well, even, it's like, so there's, weird. like, there's, like, small children in California now who have seen rain, like, four times in their lives. And it's that's fucked up. That is fucked Close up. Like and yeah, I'm, I'm from a rainy area too. Like we had four seasons, you know, rain, snow, whatever we were used to it. And, and living out here now, it's been, it, it's been a big adjustment to kind of learn what it's like to be in a drought state and especially the level of desperation that we're at at this point. Um, it's pretty bad. It's messed up, but we get like so happy when it rains. When I get like a yeah. notification that it's going to rain, I'm like, yes, <laughs> rain. It's like you want to go outside and like roll around in it on the pavement, which is probably dangerous. Does it basically stay the same temperature in San Francisco most of the year? Because it does. It's like the same temperature all year here. It's been really hot. I mean, the past two summers, like around this time of year in September and October, have been like way hotter than normal. But um, otherwise, yeah, it's typically like 65 to 70. Go, it gets a little cooler when Carl the Fog visits. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you know, our fog has a name, Carl. Did not know. Carl the Fog is his name. And uh, he's cousins with Carlos the Smog in L.A. I see. So that's, oh, they're related. Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> he has his own Twitter account. He's very popular. What? Oh, oh, dear. Yeah, he has his own Instagram account, his own Twitter account. Wait a minute. He messes up oh, Giants oh, games God. all the time. With a K. Oh, Carl my God. A... There it is. What the shit? Yeah. So I've had quite enough of rain. I lived in England for far too long. I'm, I'm pretty much done with it. And what? No, that's exactly the reason why I miss it. To talking about games in some way. Uh huh. Uh, last, it was actually the night before last Sunday night. We went to do an escape room. I don't. Has anyone here heard of an escape room? Yeah, yeah. I've done totally. an escape room before. Yeah, so, so you kind of know what an escape room is. Never, yeah. never done that. Yeah, for those that don't know, an escape room is a setup whereby you as a group are led into a room. The room is full of puzzles to lead you to the key to get you out of the room. You are locked in the room with these people and have an hour, usually, to solve the puzzles in order to leave the room. So it's a bit, it's a giant puzzle game for all intents and purposes. And on the way to this, we almost didn't get there in time because apparently nobody in North Carolina knows how to drive in the rain either, despite the 